What's going on, everybody? It's Chris Damianakos, game producer of Cash Run. Hopefully this finds you all well. So this morning, I wanted to make this quick video in regards to some ideas that you can do with your friends, family, or maybe even your colleagues in these crazy times that we're in. Doesn't mean that we can't, you know, we stop the presses and we can't do anything. We still can do certain things that are fun um, and memorable and, um, you know, going by the social distancing guidelines. And that is creating a little bit of a scavenger hunt. And I just want to give you a couple of uh, ideas as far as what I consider my favorite types of photo scavenger hunt um, challenges. Now, for some of you that do know or don't know, I've been producing premium scavenger hunts now for the past 20 years for a variety of big companies, social gatherings, schools, you name it. And what I like to do is I always love to get into the creative process and really brainstorm and reinvent our game literally on an annual basis. And, you know, how my inspiration came from was many, many years ago, I'm close to my 50-year-old uh, uh, milestone as far as my age is concerned, but as far as the first idea came a long time ago when I was 15, 16 years old, I believe, uh, in Greece. I was at a resort with my family, and uh, while I was staying there, there was an Italian tour group that came in, and they staged a two-day uh, scavenger hunt for members of the resort, completely free. And it was a really madcap uh, two-day scavenger hunt that finished off with this uh, obstacle course at the resort. It was just a lot of fun. This was in 1987. And at that particular point, loved the idea, came back to the States after that family vacation um, and watched a movie called, ironically enough, Scavenger Hunt. And at that particular point, got that you know, inspiration from that movie, that experience that I had in Greece and made my own, which uh, was not a business at the time, but did these really competitive types of events, including scavenger hunts and other types of um, interactive competitive uh, events for family and friends. And then years later, spawned off to a business. Now, when I'm not going to teach you how to do a business, but I'm going to give you a couple of ideas. If you want to do a quick scavenger hunt, uh, what to include in your photographs. Um, so here you go. So these are my favorite scavenger hunt photo challenges uh, for some time now. So one would be, I'm just going to go down my list in regards to optical illusions. As far as optical illusions, they're not hard to do in regards for uh, obtaining, uh, you know, containing that in a photograph. What you want to do is um, have your team positioned in a particular way and use depth uh, in order to create a scavenger hunt, such as, you know, placing your team on your hand. And that is by having the team stand about 20 feet behind you and then have one of the team members be close to the camera and position them that they're holding them in their hand or squeezing them or eating them. Just a variety of really crazy types of optical illusions, but you can really get creative on that and it makes for fantastic photographs. Wedding Crashers uh, is one of my favorites as well, because uh, especially if you're in a city environment, especially in the summertime, you will tend to see, maybe not as much now with the pandemic going out there, but a lot of wedding photographs uh, as far as the wedding party or even the couple. Hey, add, you know, approach them and, um, you know, ask the photographer and of course the permission of the couple if they can take a photograph of the bride and the groom. You'll be surprised that the professional photographer will take a photograph of the bride and the groom or the wedding party with the team because it, it stages for a memorable um, uh, photograph in regards to that couple's wedding day. Um, then you have scenarios like uh, what I like to call game pieces where in your city or town, if you happen to have a labyrinth, place your team members in a particular point on the maze and act like game pieces or midair, having your team in an animated way jump up in midair, um, hopefully in unison. Uh, it kind of might take a couple of shots, uh, capturing them in midair. Those make for you know, uh, really phenomenal photographs, one of my favorites, quite frankly. Um, here's one that might be interesting. Take a picture with a celebrity. I've always included it in my games throughout the years. The reason why? We have caught celebrities. Now, not your Tom Cruises of the world or your Meryl Streep's 
or your Justin Bieber's of the world. But we uh, have had celebrities in a local sense and some household names in the factor of like Dr. Drew, Larry Mullen, the drummer from U2. Um, oh my God. Um, uh, a bunch of athletes uh, in the area. So you just never know who you're gonna bump into. The scenario of it, does it happen often? Not necessarily, has it happened many times. So um, always include that into your scavenger hunt as far as a photograph. You just never know and that's always an, an added surprise onto your scavenger hunt uh, experience as well as like some smaller things like uh, public art. You know, if you have public art or, or street art in your area, definitely include that onto your list because it exposes that area uh, in regards to that public art. It makes for a great, a great com a conversational pieces. Pictures with street performers, your uh, uh, acrobatic street performers, your musicians. Always cool because not only are you taking a cool picture with these amazing performers, but you're also kind of advertising them, spreading the word out to your friends and family. And again, it makes for great conversational pieces. So those are just a few of the ones that I always say be more creative than the typical team pyramid and all that type of stuff, which is always fun as filler photographs in your scavenger hunt. People usually ask, you know, how many people, you know, how many items do you put in a photo scavenger hunt? You can make it be a, as many as you want. Just, you know, depends on, uh, it's predicated on uh, how long you want your scavenger hunt to be. So that's just one portion of the scavenger hunt. Our games also include many other challenges in our, to our experiences, but that is always a core in creating your own scavenger hunt. So get to writing, explore your city, um, practice social distancing, which is really key, especially in today's world. And of course, if you're playing in an outdoor environment, which of course, scavenger hunt can't have it any other way, uh, make sure you bring in masks and again, practice that form of social distancing as well. So I'll talk to you soon, guys. Enjoy, if you like, subscribe, like this uh, video, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.